So this question looks like it's going to be a simplify question. Simplified questions are typically very short, somewhere between one and three lines long, and contain either an equation or an expression. So the question says, what is the sum of the solutions to the given equation? So, hmm. All right, so I'm seeing multiple ways to approach this. So my x plus 2 equals x minus 5 times x plus 2. I mean, I could very well divide both sides by x plus 2, which would cross this out and make it a 1, and would cross that out as well. So I'd have 1 equals x minus 5, in which case I can add 5 to both sides and end up with an x equals 6. Now, my challenge with that is that I think that there's probably another answer, obviously, if I'm finding the sum of the solutions. Um, so how else could I do this? The other way that I could do this is I can start to expand all of this. So I can expand it using FOIL, in which case I can do outer times outer, which is x squared, or first time first, I should say. Outer times outer is 2x. Inner times inner is negative 5x. And last time last is negative 10. That becomes x squared minus 3x minus 10. I still have this x plus 2 on this side. So I'm going I'm to integrate that to the right-hand side by subtracting 2 from both sides and subtracting x from both sides. So here I end up with 0 equals x squared minus 4x minus 12. And then from there, I'm going to factor this into x, let's see, does it work? Yeah, x minus 6 and x plus 2. Why? Because negative 6 times positive 2 is negative 12, and negative 6 plus 2 is negative 4, right? So that's how that works. So I have 0 equals that. And from there, I can say, well, that means that x minus 6 equals 0, and that means x plus 2 also equals 0. And therefore, x equals 6, which I'd already figured out. So I know that is it. I know that's there. But also, x equals negative 2, which I had not figured out from my original way of doing it. So then the sum of the solutions would be 6 plus negative 2, or the same thing as 6 minus 2. And therefore, the answer to the sum of the solutions would be 4.